30 very important MCQs on human kidneys. This session is going to help you to answer maximum questions based on the human kidney. Let's start. What is the primary function of the kidneys? What exactly do our kidneys do in our body? The options are digestion, filtration of blood, respiration or reproduction. The correct answer is B and that is filtration of blood. The primary function of the kidneys is to filter waste products and access substances from the blood to form urine. The next question, can you answer? Which of the following is not a function of the kidneys? Those options are the Regulation of blood pressure Production of insulin Regulation of electrolyte balance or erythropoiosis So what does a kidney don't do? The right answer is B and that is production of insulin. The kidneys of a body do not produce insulin because the insulin is produced by pancreas. Next interesting question. What is the basic structural unit of the kidneys that is responsible for filtration? So what is the name of that basic structural unit? in the kidneys that is responsible for our filtration. Options are nephron, glomerulus, ureter or renin. The right answer is nephron. Answer A. Nephron are the functional units of the kidney responsible for filtration. The next interesting question which part of the nephron is responsible for the initial filtration of blood? Options are Bowman capsule, loop of Henle, collecting duct, or glomerulus. The right answer is glomerulus. Answer number D. The glomerulus filters blood in the Bowman's capsule. The next question, what is the approximate volume of blood that the kidneys filter each minute? At each minute, what is the volume of blood that a kidneys filter? The options are 1 liter, 5 liter, 125 millimeter or 500 millimeters. The correct answer is 500 millimeters. The kidneys filter approximately 500 millimeters of blood per minute in our body. Right? Very interesting. Let's move on to the next question. Which hormone is responsible for regulating the production of a red blood cell in response to low oxygen levels? The options are insulin, renin, erythropoietin, or aldosterone. The correct answer is erythropoietin. Friends, erythropoietin is the hormone responsible for regulating red blood cells production. Right. The next interesting question, friends, if the video is helping you. If you are enjoying our video, then please support us by liking, subscribing and sharing your comments at the end of the video. Let's continue. What is the functional unit of the kidney that is responsible for concentrating urine? So what is the functional unit of the kidney that is responsible for concentrating urine? The options are loop of Henle, glomerulus, renin or nephron. The correct answer is loop of Henle. 
The loop of Henle plays a crucial role in concentrating urine. The next question. Which part of the kidney collects urine and transports to the bladder? So, which part of the kidney collects the urine and transport it to the bladder? Options are venin, glomerulus, urethra or ureter. The correct answer is ureter. The ureter collect urine from the kidneys and transport it to the bladder. The next question. What is the main waste product excreted in urine? Options are glucose, urea, cholesterol or hemoglobin. The waste product that is excreted in urine is urea. The urea is the primary waste product excreted in the urine. The next question is which of the following is not a primary function of the kidneys? Options are acid base balance, regulation of blood glucose levels, electrolyte balance, or blood pressure regulations. So, what is the not primary function of a kidneys? The right answer is B, and that is regulation of blood glucose level. The kidneys do play a role in glucose metabolism, but they do not regulate blood glucose levels. Like pancreas does it very well. The next question. What is the name of the hormone that helps regulate sodium and water balance in the body? The options are insulin, renin, aldosterone or Thyroxine. The correct answer is aldosterone. Friends, the aldosterone is a hormone that regulates sodium and water balance. The next question here we go. Which part of the nephron is responsible for reabsorbing most of the water and electrolytes from the filtrate? The options are proximal convoluted tubule or distal convoluted tubule or collecting duct or loop of Henry. The right answer is A and that is proximal convoluted tubule. Friends, the proximal convoluted tubule is a primarily responsible for reabsorbing the water and electrolytes from the filter. The next question, what is the normal pH range of urine? The options are 1 to 3, 4 to 6, 7 to 9 or 10 to 12. The right answer is 7 to 9. The normal urine pH typically falls within the range of 7 to 9. The next question, here we go. Which condition is characterized by the presence of kidney stones in the urinary tract? The options are nephritis, cystitis, pilonephritis or nephrolithiasis. The correct answer is D and that is nephrolithiasis. The nephrolithiasis is the medical term for kidneys stone, right? The next question, which of the following substances should not normally be found in the urine? So, which is not, should not be found in the urine. So, what are the substances? Let's look at the option for that. Glucose, creatinine, uric acid or hemoglobin. The correct answer is glucose. The glucose should not be present in the normal urine. The next question, which kidneys disorder results from the inflammation of the kidneys filtering units? Options are nephritis, 
ग्लोमेरुलफ्राइटिस पोलिसिस्टिक किडनीस डिजीज और रीनल सेल कैसेनोमा द राइट आंसर इज ग्लोमेरुल नेफ्राइटिस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Dear friends, if the video is helping you, then please do support us by liking, subscribing our channel. Let's continue. Which hormone plays a role in raising blood pressure by constricting blood vessels and increasing sodium reabsorption? So, which is the hormone? Options are insulin, renin, aldosterone, or thyroxine. The right answer is renin. Renin is a hormone that raises blood pressure by vasoconstriction and increased sodium reabsorption. Right. The next interesting question: What is the term for the process of removing waste products and excess substances from the blood and forming urine? So, what do you call that process? That removes waste products and accesses the substances from the blood and it forms urine. The options are filtration, secretion, reabsorption, or excretion. The right answer is filtration. The filtration is the process of removing waste products from the blood. The next question: Which of the following? is not a function of the renal pelvis options are collecting urine filtering blood transporting urine to the ureter or storing urine the right answer is b and that is filtering blood the renal pelvis collects urine and transport it but does not filter the blood okay it just Thus, that is called transporting of urine. The next question: Which hormone is released by the kidneys to stimulate red blood cell production? So, what is that hormone name that is released by the kidneys to stimulate the WBC production, red blood cell production? The options are insulin, renin, erythropoietin, or aldosterone. The right answer is erythropoietin. Erythropoietin is produced by the kidneys to stimulate red blood cell production. The next question: What is the term for condition where the kidneys fail to filter waste products from the blood effectively? So, what is the term that is used to describe a condition where the kidneys fail? Does not filter the waste products from the blood effectively. The options are nephrolithiasis, nephrotic syndrome, nephritis, or nephronophthisis. The right answer is nephrotic syndrome. The nephrotic syndrome is a condition characterized by kidney dysfunction. Let's go for the next question. Which part of the nephron plays a role in the reabsorption of water, electrolytes, and the secretion of hydrogen ions? The options are proximal convoluted tubule, distal convoluted tubule, collecting duct, or loop of Henle. The right answer is distal convoluted tubule. The distal convoluted tubule is involved in reabsorption and secretion processes. Let's go for the next question. Which term describes the process of returning essential substances such as glucose, amino acids back into the blood from the filtered? So, what is the term used to describe this process? The options are filtration, reabsorption. Secretion or excretion. The right answer is reabsorption. The reabsorption is the process of returning essential substances to the blood. The next question: What is the normal range 
for the glomerular filtration rate GFR in the healthy adults. The options are 10 to 30 milliliter per minute, 50 to 70 milliliter per minute, or 90 to 120 milliliter per minute, or 150 to 200 milliliter per minute. The correct answer is 90 to 120 milliliter per minute in the healthy adults. Friends, the normal GFR for healthy adults typically falls within the range of 90 to 120 milliliter per minute. So let's go for the next question. What is the term for the condition in which the kidneys fail to produce urine? So what do you call that situation or condition? where the kidneys fail to produce urine. The options are anuria, oliguria, hematuria or polyuria. The right answer is anuria. Anuria is the absence of urine production. Right? The next question, which of the following is not a common cause of acute kidneys injury? AKI stands for acute kidney injury. The options are dehydration, diabetes, medication toxicity or kidney infection. The right answer is diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic condition and not typically cause of acute kidney injury. The next question is which condition involves the inflammation of the urinary bladder? Options are nephritis, pilonephritis, cystitis, nephrotic syndrome. Right answer is cystitis. Cystitis is the inflammation of the urinary bladder. The next question, which structure connects the kidneys to the urinary bladder? Options are urethra, ureter, nephrons or collecting ducts. The right answer is ureters. The ureters connect the kidneys to the urinary bladder, allowing the transport of urine. Friends, hope this video helped you. If it is, then please support us by liking and subscribing and please do share our channel with everyone. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a great time.